Can I get your signature on this before you go? Still no ID on the hand, then? No, we salvaged a fingerprint, but there's no match on our database. He might not even be from Australia. Well, we're still analysing race, but uh, I've handballed the prints over at the feds, but I'm not really hopeful. Listen, Charlie, about what happened before with Bill. Look, I don't want to talk about it, OK? I'm exhausted, as I'm sure you are. So can we drop it? Here's the forensics report on the boat. Looks like I might not be as cut and dried as you first thought. OK, thanks. lately. Liam, just, just slow down. Just calm down. No, come on. That, that would be a really, really bad idea. You're just stressed out. You don't, you don't need to take anything. Okay, where are you? All right, stay there. Don't move. I'm going to come get you. Hey, I'm sorry. I know how much this hurts, but what if, what if one day you can't control yourself? What if your anger gets the better of you and you do something that you really regret, that we regret? Listen, I need you. I need my husband. This baby needs its father. Look, Rach, I want to do something about this. I honestly do. I just... I don't know. I just, I just don't know where to start. I don't, maybe you should talk to Charlie. I know you left things with her a bit tense, but she has to deal with Angelo every day. Maybe she has some insight on how she does it. Hey. Guys, some stations that I might find you, Danny. Look, Tony, I know what you're going to say, and you're right. I shouldn't have gone off at you like that. Oh, uh, Charlie, it's me who should apologise. I know you're just doing your job, and what I said's made it a little bit harder. I take it back, and I'm sorry. It's OK. I think I got so worked up because, on some level, I agree with you. You know, sometimes I do feel like I'm betraying Jack, and that makes me feel... Angry? Yes. Look, Charlie, this, um... This isn't really very easy for me, but I do appreciate that I have to find some way of... Forgive Angelo. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. But if I keep reacting to what he's done, then it's impossible to do my job. So I try only to react to what he's doing here and now. I mean, sure, you can spend the rest of your life angry and being eaten up by it, but I mean, do you really want that? Or do you think Jack would want that for you? Oh, I know I've got to do something about it, but. I, I just, I just don't know how. In a way, there is no how. Tony, the reality is... ..you can't change what's happened. And you can't stop Angelo from being here. But you can choose how you deal with it. Listen, I'm sorry about calling you. I just didn't know who to call. Please stop apologising. I'm, I'm glad you called. It's better than finding you passed out in a gutter somewhere. <sighs> when you lose your record deal, your wife doesn't want to speak to you and you can't even see your kid, you know, lying in the gutter doesn't seem that bad. Well, it does if it means you're using again. Well, when I spoke to you, I just wasn't in a good place, you know. I mean, it's the last thing I want to do. And I hope you know that. Hey, if that's the press. Yes. Hey. I, I didn't think you'd ever want to speak to me again after the paper and everything. No, I just got off the phone to the station. They said they let you out. No, I'm just glad Angelo did the right thing. Angelo, Charlie was the one who let me out. 
Really? <coughs> what the hell's he doing here? He was in trouble, okay? He needed my help. Oh, right, because you're a doctor and everything. Aiden, he was about to go and score some dope, so he called me. That, that's what they teach you to do in rehab. You reach out to a friend. Bill, rehab is exactly where he should be. Not, not here bringing you down when you work so hard to get out. I do care about him. He is my friend. I'm not going to turn my back on him. He, he helped me when no one else would. How can you support him when you're the one who needs support too, Belle? Is this why you came over here to start a fight? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to stop this guy from affecting your recovery. That's it. Well, thank you for being worried about me, but Liam needs a friend right now, and I'm it. Look, I've had a really bad day, and I need to get some sleep. No, it's fine. I get it. I'll see you around. Aiden. Very faint, but we were able to isolate a sample and analyse it. The binos? It matches his blood type, according to medical records. The only prints we found belong to De Bono and Irene Roberts. They're everywhere. OK, thanks. Yeah. You all right? But Irene was acting in self-defence, and Ganella's going to be fine. No, we didn't find any more prints on the boat, but that doesn't prove that... Yes, sir. I understand. Hey! Oh, finally, they're letting you go. What's going on? Irene has been charged with unlawfully shooting a police officer. I'm sorry, Bill, but I've been given my orders. We found loose blood on the boat. They reckon I heard him. But that's ridiculous. We have evidence that Lou was injured whilst on board. So as if Irene had anything to do with it. She's a person of interest. I'm sorry, Belle, I have no choice. W where are you taking her? Irene will be remanded in custody until the bail hearing. Next time on Home and Away. First I wanted to run and hide, but I'm not going to do that anymore. This is my town. I just wanted to get your attention. Excuse me? You're smoking hot. Shark diving to us. What? It could be the perfect way to cash in. My brother nearly died. Dad reckons the shark story's bull. How well do any of you really know Hugo? My dad knows how to kill a man in 27 different ways. I'll risk it. Daddy! Oh! Told Mark's brother it was me who shot him in the leg. Well, that's not quite the whole story, is it, mate?